Welcome back. Glad you could join me again. So I hear this big excuse that females make. Men can sleep around and the more the cooler. But when a female does that, she's a proper garden tool. Such an eloquent description. Promiscuous girls, promiscuous girls, man eats a women. She's thirsty, feels empty, and needs one or one of many men to fill that gap she feels inside of her. <laughs> yes, indeed. Hedonistic means engaged in the pursuit of pleasure, sensually self-indulgent. Indeed, of course. Now, has the world become more hedonistic or... Has the internet made the world seemingly become more hedonistic? In other words, have more of the freaks, you know, the freaks, you know, the people with sex dungeons and whatnot. I don't know where people get dungeons from, but is it more a sense of the freaks have come out to play? You know, they're not really lurking in the darkness anymore. They're all out here waggling their knobs and flicking beans everywhere at everyone. Good God. <laughs> yeah, disturbing thought. The point is amongst my waffling, the title promiscuous women, the world is becoming more hedonistic due to female liberation. Yeah, yeah, replicant fish. Many imitators, but please, please, please. The grand point is, at the start, it's strange how the world has become more sexual in the fact it's become more liberated for women as well. Like, that's the obvious elephant in the room, isn't it? That's like the obvious part. Like, wait a second, men are supposed to be the more sexual ones, and by nature, we are. However, However, I keep making these points about women and their freak and their freaky sexual nature because it is so strong. Hence, in them becoming more liberated, the world's become a more freaky place. Yeah, it's not surprising, is it? No, it makes sense. And I'm not here to stop it, no. Just to warn men, men, pay attention, like, you know, look out, be careful. You think she's yours, but now, nah, bro, now, nah, bro, it's just your turn. You didn't even know it, did you? It was just your turn. Yeah, but enough waffling, enough waffling, enough waffling. Let's begin. Women, stop being promiscuous. People can do what they want to do without hurting anyone else. I do see this big push towards women to act and behave and be like men. Women wanting to become equal to men in today's society they want the same jobs long working hours and they think that being a housewife is degrading i know it's so sad isn't it as a man to understand so many women think being a housewife is degrading being part of what actually makes women powerful is degrading yeah <laughs> yeah because they want to be more like us yeah they want to be more like us and yeah and some women wonder why they're growing big beards and mustaches some of it's by nature some of it's because you're turning into a bloke <laughs> They say feminism is here to create equality between females and males. But I think that that movement is very negative towards men. And I find it stupid. Oh, come on. It's good you as a woman says that. Again, a more attractive woman saying that. Yeah, it's, it's obvious, isn't it? It's kind of obvious by now, isn't it? Yeah. Women being free and all that stuff, I don't have a problem with any of that. It's just when as a man is forced in your face, like a woman with crap boobs, forcing her crap boobs in your face, it's like, I don't, I don't even want this. I don't, I don't want this. <laughs> Women and men are different. We need each other. We balance each other out, but we are different. Men usually stronger, more aggressive. Yeah, girl, girl. I'm, I'm trying to be aggressive. You know, it's coming across like a pirate again. I don't know what it is with me and this flipping pirate impression, but yeah, that's my, that's my aggression. Yeah. Yeah, girl, girl. Yeah. More ambitious and they are more action oriented. Yeah, exactly. Be impressed, women. Be impressed. Yeah, I'm a man. <laughs> women usually have more empathy, are more attentive. That's a lie. That's some bullshit. <laughs> All right, relax. Relax, relax. Okay, in some cases, yes, agreed, yes, of course. Women are the more, in some cases, the more gentle of the sexes, depending on certain situations and what situation she's in, to understand how much of her hypergamy she may activate, depending on this and that and so on and so forth. So, yeah. Women usually have more empathy, are more attentive, and tend to be more insecure. Yep, agree with that. Yep, yep, I agree with that one. Human beings in general, I think, have a certain degree of insecurity. Women's insecurities are actually quite interesting, and we as men should never make fun of women's insecurities. 
her energies, her insecure energies. <laughs> <laughs> no, we shouldn't, no. Yes, we have feminine and masculine traits. That's how we categorize things. Of course, there are men who have a lot more feminine traits. There are females that have a lot more masculine traits. There is nothing wrong with that. But we do have to know that there are differences. Not one is better than the other, but men can do some stuff better than women. Yeah, say it, woman. Yeah, exactly. Be impressed, women. Be impressed by my manliness. I'm, just, I'm a man. Just be impressed. <laughs> Indeed. And women can do some stuff better than men. Some stuff we women do, we, we suck at. Well, certain things women suck at, you kind of hope they're actually good at it. You're flipping well hope. The world would be even a crazier place if we didn't have one without the other. Another way we like to categorize is with beta and alpha. Males and females. I do think we can apply this to females as well. As you should. I don't do the alpha and beta thing, though I do understand it. But in modern times, there are variations to this to a degree because of culture, society, civilization, and certain things. So there, I do believe there are a lot of equations in the alpha beta thing more than it just being more than it being oh you get chicks or you don't, and that makes it alpha or beta. I think that's I think eh, that's a bit too simplistic to a degree. But eh, what do I know? So I hear this big excuse that females make. Men can sleep around and the more the cooler. But when a female does that, she's a ho. Oh. And yes, I do agree with that. Ho. Oh. To clarify, I am not interested in or attracted to men that have had a lot of partners. <laughs> but the statement rings true to me because of what I will explain next. Oh God. <laughs> It's about to get promiscuous. Yeah, that's, that didn't really make sense, but it's just, just yeah, epicness, epic, epic. Let me tell you why. It is harder for a man to get with a female. He needs to gather all his courage, walk up to her, talk to her, and probably chances are high he will get denied. Indeed, as men. However, like I've said before, the boldness in men to be able to do this is a power you understand many women don't have because... The, because well, they don't have to, to be honest. But it's for men to understand and to not care to a degree because of how much through your life you're going to have to do this if you're obviously a dating man. And this comes again to my point as to if you're a dating man, you date without emotion. To know you may have to approach so many women, why invest so much emotion? In some way, be a selfish bastard about it and focus on your wants because only your wants matter. That's wrong, but yeah, it's actually true. The woman mostly has all the power to say yes or no women tend to have men lined up for her when a man can get with a woman it's kind of an achievement bullshit because he it is not that likely for him him to get with a woman but females have men lining up for them women don't have that problem of being rejected they are doing the rejecting nope disagree women do have a problem of being rejected because not all women can get the men they actually want they can't all get the men they actually want. That's a problem women have by not being able to approach. They can only pick from the men that actually approach them. Yeah. They can't literally pick from the world of men because the world of men don't want every single woman. So they can only pick from the men that approach them. Suck it. It would be more of an achievement for her to say no. Now, I'm not judging anyone on what they want to do. You do you. But do know that your actions have consequences. Don't tell women that. Come on, don't tell women that. Let them just keep doing what they're doing. If, if, if I want to sell my pussy, what's the problem? Don't tell women that. <laughs> all the fun every woman's having now will last forever. Yeah, yeah, every woman listening, all of your fun will last forever. It will never stop. Don't tell them that. Just, just, just keep it going. I think if you want to be in a long-lasting relationship where you build trust, where you're together and loving each other, going to the tough times, to the good times for a long time, then you shouldn't go and sleep around. Oh, proper garden tool. But the problem with what you've just said is many women do want that, but for the most part, some women want that later on in life. After the promiscuous, hedonistic, head smashing, knee scraping, random banging action that some women may have through their lives. You see, it's after all that, then some of those women want to settle down and find a decent man. 
But the point is, what decent man, true decent man, is going to want that after so many men have been like, yeah, yeah, you can be the fool to marry her. Really? Sleeping around with everybody who comes in your path, with everybody who gives you some attention, I think that is a path to destruction. You will be messing up your mind like that. Just think about it. If you're a guy, you don't want to be with a girl, like settle down with a girl who had 10, 20, 30 partners. Men in general attach themselves less. They are less emotional. Females, it's the other way around. They are more emotional, less logical, and attach themselves quicker. So I really find this push on women, especially by the media and such, to be really damaging, especially for the young girls that are very vulnerable to such messages because they consume media in the daily. They have no idea yet about the repercussions of their actions. Now, I'm not saying with this either that men have a free pass, they can do what they want. Silence, you fool! All right, let's leave it there. She's talking about loving someone before you sleep with them, which makes sense yeah, for certain people. It makes sense, but I'm like, yeah, it's like, really? Okay. The point is, yes, the world has become more hedonistic. Yes, because women have more options, they have in turn made the world kind of more, for lack of a better word, more slutty, which for some men, it's like, yay, <laughs> yay. But for other men that want wives, it's like, damn, damn, what's going on? But the point is, either way, as a man, see and understand all of this and know what your place in this world is, or at least what you want it to be. Here, here, woof woof, as men, yeah. In other words, in other words, focus, observe, remember. The world is yours. Have a nice day.